quite a day. I guess I'm serious. I brought out the machines. They, <laughs> they've been in my junk room for 20 years at least. They're heavy too. It's about the past and, and the present, the new present. The idea to get all these tapes transcribed on the appropriate machines, but you know me, <laughs> that ma it makes me want to do something now too. So I've decided to record fresh. So um, my friend Christo's coming over and uh, he's going to advise me on things like mic and also the uh, transcriptions onto the, uh, the CDs. So Christo is here and he has brought over uh, his very high quality mic and we're going to uh, just see how that works if I, uh, when I hook it up to my camera. Well, it looks like I'm underway. I'm set up, I've got a new mic on order, and I've got all my tape recorders hooked up, cleaned up, Christo, got them all ready for action. I got a lot of response yesterday, too, in my presentation of this project, the Loose Ends Project. Oddly enough, quite, some people actually do suggest just dumping some of the stuff. I've, I have to think about that. <clears throat> Uh, I don't really want any of it, so it's kind of obligatory, obligatory. I have librarian friends that are archivists that think I shouldn't throw anything away, that this should go into a library or something. I, I'm not convinced of all of that, and I like the um, Yuko Ono concept of just taking your life and burning it up on the beach or throwing it to the winds off Twin Peaks or something like that. So I'm kind of torn right now. I guess the main thing to do is to look at it and maybe organize it in some way so I really know what I have. I like this one. Glean the diamonds from the dross and then bury or ceremoniously put to rest the superfluous. Can I do that? I'm not sure I know the difference. Here's another. Perhaps you need something different in your new way. Save only the most precious and pyre everything else. Invite friends to the ceremony. Quite a few people suggest that I need help, that I should get help. Well, of course. <laughs> But I've gone my whole life not being able to get help, so I finally just quit asking. I have two daughters, and uh, yes, so well, they said, you know, you can't throw anything away, Mom. I said, well, could you help me? Well, not now. Of course they can't do it now, but they're never going to be able to do it. Um, I mean, they're busy. They have lives. This is my junk, and I'm going to have to be the one that deals with it. That's the price. And of course this career aspect is only one loose end. I have a lot of other loose ends. This is just one. It's a big one though and it's the one I'm starting work on first. If I can finish this off, I have hung on to these damn machines for decades, 30, 40 years. This is really awful. 